Hi everyone, Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com. I've had several requests on how one can set up their SAM desktops to look like mine. And yes, this is very useful if you're going to be viewing the training videos because my desktop looks different than yours. So to make it easier for you to follow along in the training, it makes common sense to have your desktops look like mine. So this video is for the purpose of showing you how to make your desktop or desktops look like mine. Right now we're looking at a default desktop that I set up and obviously it doesn't look like mine. I would never use something like this. But again, notice we have three desktops within SAM Broadcaster. Desktop A, Desktop B, and Desktop C. So let's go through each one and I'll show you how you can set up everything. Let's go to Desktop A first. What I highly recommend is that you go ahead and tick down these red X's here and just close out everything. And up here in the file menu under Windows, let's go ahead and select our deck A and deck B. And I'm going to drag deck A, leave it right there. I'm going to drag deck B over here to the right here. I want to put a clock in between these two, so I'll go to Window and pick the clock. And I'll drag that and place her right in the middle here, line it right up and move my deck B over and line that up. And over in this section, I'm going to place my encoder. So we go to Window, select Encoders. And we can grab a corner and like, you know, resize that any way you want. And drag it over. And we'll line that up as well. Incidentally, you can also, you can resize this entire window by taking your corner and you can, you can drag it make it larger or smaller. All right, so there's my encoder. On this next row down here, I'm gonna place my voice effects. So I'll select voice effects and I'll place that here. To the right of that, I'll put my sound effects window, sound effects, I'll drag it over and line that up. And then my voice tracking and request. So let's do window, voice tracking, window, request and I'll place my voice tracking right here and my request I'll place that in this little area right here so let me resize this so to fit right there and let's grab a corner and expand it out and line it up there we go and in this bottom row I'm gonna place my queue my history and my playlist and a statistical relays graphs so let's do the queue so we go to window select queue and place that down here and let me drag it down so it goes down to the bottom and line it up with this just so history right here window history let's drag it down line it up and let's resize it grab a corner and like that and I'll place my playlist right here, window, playlist, and I'm going to resize it. Place them there and let's grab that corner down here. And let's line it up right here. And lastly, let's place the statistic relay graph. So window, statistic relay graph, and we'll place it in the corner and we'll stretch it out. Just like that. So this is my desktop A. Let's do desktop B. Same process as in desktop A. I'm going to close out everything here by clicking on these X's. And at the very top, I'm going to place my encoders and statistic relays. So I'm going to pick window, encoder. Now I'll put that over to the left hand side. And I'm going to stretch it up half of the page here. Then over here, I'll put my statistic relays, so window, statistic relays. Let's drag it up, line it up, grab a corner, and let's stretch it out. Just like doing an exercise, huh? All right, and then the next row, I'm going to place my playlist, so window, playlist. And I'll line it up over here, and we're going to drag it all the way down to the bottom. 
Let's line it up with this right here. And half of this section, I'm going to place my event scheduler. So window, event scheduler. And let's drag it over here and just use half of that, like that. And down here, I'll place my event log. Window, event log. And let's stretch it out to the corner there. And that's my desktop B. Let's do desktop C. On these X's, get rid of everything. I'm gonna place my aux decks here, aux one and aux two. So let's select those, window, aux one, window, aux two. So there's aux one. I'll place aux two to the far right, aux one to the far left. And in the middle, I'm gonna place my PAL script window. So we'll select window, PAL scripts, and there it is, it aligned itself. Below that, I'm gonna place my Q, my FTP log, and a history window. So I will do a window, Q, and place it over here to the left. And I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit. right there's good and to the right of that I'll place my FTP log window FTP log and I'll make it a line up right there and over to the right like so and right here I'll place my history window window history and let me resize this like that and below this, I'll place my event scheduler, window, event scheduler. Pull it down and line it up right there. And we'll pull it over to the right and down, just like that. Over here, I'll place a request system right in here. My request window. And lastly, the event log right here, window event log that's it there's my desktop a desktop B and desktop C now before you exit out of Sam broadcaster you must perform this critical step by saving your desktop to do that you go to layout save as default and then once you do that it saves your default desktop so when you exit out of sound broadcaster and you come back in everything is as you see it here so that's all there is to setting up your sam desktops to look like mine and this will greatly assist you in walking through the video train this is ronnie j from internetradiostation.com thank you for listening